In this video I'm going to show you how to find standard deviation and the mean using your Texas Instruments TI-36X Pro calculator and for this example we'll do something very simple to illustrate the method. So we're just going to take 1, 2, 3 and the result you'll get for the standard deviation you'll have a choice SX and Sigma X. SX is the standard deviation divided by the N-1 and then you've got sigma x which is the end definition of the standard deviation. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to data and if we wanted to clear this you press data once more and then one and it would clear any of the lists. So you see you can clear the various lists but we're all clear here just to ensure that there's nothing else in there. So we're going to populate list 1. The calculator understands these variables as lists in the same way as they do in the TI-84. So let's just fill list 1 with 1, 2, 3. So 1, then 2, then 3. Now remember that's saved in list 1. So you see we've done 1, enter, 2, 3. So that's the data in saved as list 1. So then we go to second function. And then this on top of the data you've got stat, reg, um, slash dist and we press that and it gives us all these options and we want one variable statistics because we've only got one that's like the X series if we had X and Y we'd use two but for here we're just going to use one um, so this is on number two and that gets us into here and we just press enter three times because we're, we've put it in list one so list one frequency one you see, if we had a frequency column next to it, you could put that in list 2 and multiply the things, but we're not bothering with that. And then enter once more to calculate it. And so that gives us an N of 3, 1, 2, 3. The mean is this X bar, which is, of course, 2. Standard deviation N minus 1 is 1. And we've got this zero point, roughly 0 0.82 for the end definition of standard deviation. So that's how standard deviation and mean is done on this calculator. Hopefully it's helpful to you and thank you for watching.